Good morning, children. November the 4th. Um, the election thing is still going on right now. Um, I talked to one buddy and he just said it's close. So <laughs> I don't know who's winning or losing uh, America or China. Well, I guess I'll find out later today while you're all asleep or maybe tomorrow even. Tomorrow morning will be my night, so maybe tonight I'll find out, which will be your uh, Wednesday morning. So anyway, November the 4th, uh, with daylight savings time, we're 12 hours apart now. It was 11 hours ahead, now it's 12 hours ahead, because you turn the clocks back. So it's like 9.30 here, so it's 9.30 there. But uh, you're 9.30 Tuesday night, we're 9.30 Wednesday. Uh, there is always a shortage of people let me tell you, because we're a little far away here. There's always a shortage of people who get the job done on time without excuses or grumbling. If you really study those who have reached the top of any organization, you will find that there are people who cheerfully accept challenges, take the initiative, and get the job done. They don't complain and they don't make excuses. Those who never get anywhere in their jobs and careers can't seem to understand that achievers don't become achievers after they reach the top. They reach the top because of the way they conducted themselves along the way. You can easily become one of these individuals who regularly advance in the organization if you are willing to pay the price. Any good manager will tell you that the type of people who are most in demand are those who can think for themselves, who will take the initiative to do the right thing without being told, and who will stick to the job until it is finished. You can be one of those people if you choose to be. Well, there you go, straight out. Once again, this is coming from a little bit of a different perspective. Uh, there weren't as many entrepreneurs back in the day as there are now. So most people made their living by working for somebody else. Um, really, a lot of the, what he's talking about as far as the qualities um, do apply to people who are entrepreneurs and working for themselves because it, what happens day one when you're an entrepreneur, uh, you know, if you've been working in the corporate world your whole life and had somebody uh, tell you what's going on, you know, what to do, where to show up, when to show up, you know, there's a meeting at 10 o'clock, be there, write this down, do this, here's your job, you know, you got three months to do it, whatever. Um, day one, you're kind of like, okay, I'm not sure what I need to do, <laughs> right? Because you're used to being told your whole life what to do. So it is a transition, it is difficult, I'm not saying it's easy, um, but hopefully you have a plan because we talked in June about making a plan and part of that plan was breaking your long-term goal down into a series of um, steps or milestones to help you reach that goal. So day one you have a very clear idea of what you need to accomplish it and why. And you start working towards, you know, your big goal. And you do that by working towards your, you know, five-year goal. And you do that by working towards your one-year goal. You do that by working towards your six-month goal. And you do that by working towards your 90-day goal and your 30-day goal. That's, you know, each one of those, when you achieve your 30-day goal, you're closer to your 90-day goal. So day one, start working on your 30-day goal or milestone to get you to your ultimate goal, retirement or financial freedom or whatever it might be. And that's it. Um, doing it from the, uh, we, we had a really quick breakfast today, so I'm not doing it from the deck. We're still in Chiang Mai. We're still in the guest house, but uh, I'm just doing it from inside the room because uh, we were we were there, grabbed some breakfast, grabbed some coffee, and came back to the room uh, pretty quick today. So I didn't. We weren't lounging like we usually do. Um, there's a nice little waterfall there, a brook, and in Thailand, if there's water, that means mosquitoes. So <laughs> she, she got tired of being attacked by bugs, um, especially the no seams. Uh, no seam is what people call them because you can't see them. They're they're so small. They're very hard to see. You just feel them, you know, and they're quick. So you, you slap at your arm and leg and they're, they're gone already. They, they feel the wind coming from your hair. So uh, we, we uh, sought shelter indoors. So that's it for today. Uh, I'm here still tomorrow and then the 6th, Thursday. I'll be here uh, Thursday morning uh, and then uh, go back to Pi. Um,
gonna miss the restaurants here. We've had some amazing food. Um, and just, you know, be able to pick up different stuff. Uh, what I'm looking for today is a PA system, public address system, like a microphone. I already actually got a microphone upstairs, but uh, a thing to have a microphone so people can sing and play guitar uh, at the shop up in Pi. Um, you know, from day one, I talked about having a deck and music uh, during the summer was the plan, but COVID had other plans. Uh, so... I still want to have like at least a singer songwriter folk acoustic guitar type person uh, sing through a mic, you know, to the people who are in the restaurant already, not building the deck yet until they open the country up, but just to sing to the people who are in the existing 34 chairs that I have. Just provide entertainment. I think that will help draw people to the restaurant. So uh, I want to pick the uh, amplifier and speakers up here. Like I said, I already got the uh, mic stand and microphone. I purchased that up in Pi months ago, getting ready for the, the deck. So that's what's going on. I will speak with you all tomorrow. Take care.